Well, it's day one on the Willow Flowage. We're gonna uh, spend two days out here. Got camp set up last night real late, and uh, we had to search around for an island. Uh, most of the spots were taken, so uh, <clears throat> here we are. We found a spot, pretty buggy out here. They had a ton of rain last weekend, um, like record setting amounts of rain. So luckily this area wasn't too badly hit, um, but Weather looks bright and sunny. Not the greatest musky fishing weather, but we're gonna try and make it happen anyway. So I just wanna take you for a quick tour of camp here. Uh, I've never been to this island, so you're gonna learn with me. Let's go, uh, let's go this way. So this could probably be why it's so buggy. It's pretty, uh, Coniferous back here, and we have our own little we have our own little swamp right over here. Lovely. Hunters running the running around the island, claiming it. These are my favorite type of woods, though. We've got a nice mixture of uh, red and white pine. That's a red pine there. White pine there. Tons of balsam fir, some spruce. This is probably where we should have landed last night. A little flatter. Oh yeah. Got some boulders in the water. Steam coming off the water. It's still pretty chilly. It's only about 55 degrees out right now, but should warm up. Let's go take a look over here. Hunter! <whistles> Sorry about the sun. Just coming up over the trees. <clears throat> Got our coffee going. My honey's awake, ready to meet the world. After coffee, of course. All right, so here's the situation. We've got clear blue skies, bright sun, no wind. Not the best conditions for musky fishing. So we came to a spot in the lake where the river channel out here does a bunch of crazy turns and uh, in between the turns are these series of humps and flats with weeds on them. So if we can't make it work here, we're going to have to either go way back in the backwater areas or fish off the deep drops with bulldogs or something. So we'll see how this turns out. Right now we're fishing with bucktails, double eights, using, uh, I'm throwing a green and black, bright green skirt. Courtney is fishing with a musky mayhem jackrabbit and uh, in orange and black. And we're going to see how this turns out. So we'll bring you back if we start hooking into some fish. <laughs> So we're out here on the willow flowage and it's lunchtime. So we're gonna have some fine dining here on this little uh, little spot we pulled up to. Uh, we got some O snap O snap pickles, which Hunter is a fan of. So are we. Uh, 
No. Yeah. I've only caught two pikes so far. Not worth videotaping. We're gonna keep on keeping on and see what happens. So it's hot and sunny. Haven't seen a muskie all day. We did catch a couple of pike. One of them was pretty nice. Um, but now we're back at camp, just uh, relaxing. Wave to the camera, honey. So I've got the war bonnet, Ridge Runner hammock set up so she can just relax and cool off. And. That's my view, just chilling. Hunter's around here somewhere. Not sure what he's doing, but. We've got uh, two, are those boneless, honey? We've got two boneless New York strips marinating. We're just gonna chill out, cool off. We're gonna go hit them as the sun's going down. Maybe throw some top wires. Water temperatures are super high right now. So they're already upper 70s, so it's just not happening. We'll get back to you. Oh, that smells amazing. <clears throat> Eating like kings out here in the Northwoods. What do you got there? <laughs> hey Hunter, what are you doing up there? Huh? <laughs> Not supposed to be on tables, boy. Leave my platypus bag alone. <clears throat> What are you doing? Trying to get away from all the bugs on the ground? Yeah, I don't blame you. If you're ever out camping and can't find your dog, come on, I'll show you a little spot where they might be hanging out. What are you doing in there? Are you napping? Are you napping? Good boy. Good boy. Get some sleep. Well, we just came out after dinner on the second cast. Got a decent sized pike. Easy to bring in on musky gear. Not bad. So what we're doing is we're throwing a tandem, I'm throwing a musky buster bulger bucktail and I'm burning it under the surface and that's when this fish hit. We're fishing a weed flat out here on a hump and uh, Courtney, camera woman right now, is running a <clears throat> fat bastard topwater. So let's see how long this one is, just for giggles. Twenty-two and a half. Anyway, if 
you got the right gear, these are fun little guys to catch. Sorry, let me back up, huh? So, definitely one of the downsides of fishing in a remote lake, if you could call it a downside, is you got to bring in your own gas. So, you got an old boat, this thing drinks about seven gallons a day. So, we try to bring about five gallons extra per day. Not a musky again, but still fun. Our low 20 inch pike eating these uh, musky killers left and right. There you go. Okay. That thing like crazy. Wow. Well, we thought it was a musky, and it turns out it's a burbot. After further review, it turned out to be a bowfin also known as a dogfish. What do you got? Another pike. Right off of our island. No luck. And that would conclude our second trip to the Willow Flowage. We didn't boat any muskies, but we still had a blast. Thanks for watching, and as always, get outside. <laughs>